Hey guys, we are going to revisit a video where I showed you how to join wood without a joiner. Uh, so basically you can do this with a table saw. Been getting a lot of comments, uh, a lot of feedback on this uh, particular way. This is just one of many, many different ways. Uh, maybe you do not own a joiner yet. You haven't gotten to that step. Uh, maybe you can't afford one. Maybe you're just getting started. This is just a simple hack that I learned a long time ago on how to get a perfect joint if you do not own a joiner. Okay, so we're gonna use a couple of uh, scrap pieces of material just to put on the ends of the uh, material that you're gonna be joining. As you can see, I have about a uh, eighth of an inch, maybe a sixteenth of a gap there between the two. Uh, make sure that the scrap material that you're using is not as wide as the two boards put together um, as you need something flush to uh, ride the fence of the table saw. I'm using um, one inch screws there. Um, not karate chopping the board there, I'm just showing that make sure when you're uh, selecting your material that uh, you have enough room to cut off the uh, the ends that have the holes in them if they're going to be exposed. This issue was brought up uh, by several different people. Um, I'm just pre-drilling and uh, screwing in um, the, the end pieces. Um, measure out the material um, to the center uh, where you want to rip and set your table saw accordingly. As you can see, the blade is dividing the two and actually taking out that bit of bow that I had in the material. And when you go to unscrew the material, again, you can keep those end blocks uh, to use for other material that you would like to do this for. And there you have it. Beautiful joint without a joiner. So, not a bad joint for a table saw. And you can actually, if, uh, let's say that your bow was too big for the kerf of your blade to take it out in one pass, you can undo the two pieces that are on the end, um, join your wood, and then re-screw it and run it again. That will uh, take another eighth of an inch or however, you know, wide that the kerf is on your, uh, on your blade. Um, and you can do it to multiple pieces. Uh, let's say you have a big glue up. Uh, you can use this exact same trick for multiple different pieces in a row. Uh, may take just a little bit more time. Um, again, this is just an old school trick. It's one of many, many ways that you can accomplish joinery. And I don't want expensive tools to discourage people from getting into woodworking. So, if you don't have the big expensive tools or the planers or you're in a bind, and you'd like to make a perfect joint, this video is for you. So if you like this trick, this little tip, hit the subscribe button and I'll keep the tips and tricks for carpentry and other DIY coming your way.